What's up everybody? I'm your Rabbit. We're here on R Factor 2 looking at an Abarth 695 here in R Factor 2 to see does VR make you faster? That question we're gonna take to the test today and answer that. Does VR racing make you faster? Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are in the description box below. Let's get to it. So the reason I ask this question, does VR actually make you faster because it gives you a different perspective when you're racing in VR versus when you're looking at a monitor. So we're going to put this to the test. We're going to Atlanta Motorsports Park in a Fiat and we're going to run some hot laps on the monitor. Then we're going to switch over to the Oculus Rift S and see if the times are faster or slower and give you my perspective of how it differs when you're looking. So the Abarth not sure what we can do we got slicks we're, gonna, we're just gonna leave it how it sets all right so we're gonna give this a shot here factory settings in the fiat Barth here at atlanta motorsports park and we're going to then get in the oculus rift s and see if we can track faster or slower in vr and i will give you guys the take on what i feel is a little bit different in feels of how you see, what you see, and everything like that when you're going through the racetrack. Now I know this track has a lot of elevation changes and a lot of things like that. Slow down there. And as you can see it's really hard to know, judge exactly where you're going on the track when you're using a monitor because, well, doesn't rotate. I mean, if you had triple screens, you could see a little bit, a little bit more. All oh, these brakes are a bit sluggish, so we definitely need to warm up the brakes and the tires. So that happened. So this has been a question that's been on my mind recently a lot, and a few of my friends as well. We're trying to find out: Is VR world squirrely? That uh, that was not happy. Back wheels picked up off the ground. Front wheel drive race car problems. So we've, like I said, we've been wondering if I'm actually faster in VR or not. Because I did do some racing in VR and it seemed to be faster. But here we're gonna take the test. And I cannot see where I'm going really on the road. I kind of know the track because we did race this track a little bit, but. I have no idea where I'm going on some of these turns because of the elevation changes and everything like that. It makes it slightly complicated and apparently I just lost my tablet. I lost the dashboard. Okay, we got a dashboard in the car. So we're going to go for a hot lap now and see what we can hot lap time. Really slow through that turn. But it is a very tight hairpin. So we're going to try to make the best out of this lap as possible. Trying to stay on somewhat of a decent race line. But as you can see, not being able to see how long this turn's going is definitely, definitely difficult. And I mean, a lot of sim racers probably know the track that you're running. So you kind of know where you got to put the car for certain and stuff like that but for first learning the track it's it could be hard because like see, I can't really see where that is right there and now I know where it is because I've driven the track and you can kind of see it but if you want to get that perfect racing line it is a little difficult to see on this track because like right here I can't really see where I'm going until a little bit after. I know the track so I was able to make the turns. But it's definitely a little bit different to say the least and I'm not like pedaling it by any means or like stacking you know the deck from VR to regular. I'm trying to put down the fastest time I can based on what I can see here without VR. 
and then we're going to the RNC. So we're gonna run one more lap and get basically two laps and see what our fastest time is. Then we'll reset it in the Oculus and see what we can do different and how it looks different in VR. Go. Slowly starting to feel the track and the car. Oh, as I say that, we go all off course. Kind of saved it a little bit. But we were a little bit all over the place. So, if you guys are not subscribed to the channel, I would appreciate support. Tap the subscribe button if you want to support my channel and, well, sim racing and sim drifting and everything on my channel. All you gotta do is subscribe. Tap that like button. That's all I ask. You know, show your support. Come back, watch the videos. I would appreciate all of that. Comment down in the comment section because it definitely would, you know, get you interacting with some of the other subscribers and myself. I do read almost every single comment I can and respond to almost every comment I can. So, with that being said, this is our second hot lap in this car. Oh boy. And across the line with, I am not sure what, we're gonna hit escape. A 133. 133.048 was our time, not in the Rift S. So now let's switch it up into the Rift S and see what we can do. So I'll catch you guys once we get back in the Rift. All right, so we are in the Rift S now. And as you can see, everything is a little bit different. We can actually look around the car and everything like that, kind of in my own body. But we're going to go rip this Fiat here on Atlanta Motorsports Park in the Rift S. As you can see already, the view is much wider. And as you can see, I can see more of the car. I can see more of the stuff that's going on. So let's go for a run or two here. And I'm kind of already looking like out my side windows. So we did run a 133 outside of VR. So now we're going to see what we can run in VR. And already the difference, as you can see, I'm already looking past where I want to go and kind of looking where I want to go rather than where the game is actually making me look. So already being able to look apex and kind of look where I need to point is a huge advantage for sure. So that in itself is a big deal and you have more of perspective because you can kind of see more than on a single screen if you had three screens like i said you could see more of a perspective but this is giving me i can look down look up towards the track if i want and i can look over i can kind of look up and kind of see where i'm going because i can move my head around like it would in a real car i can look down the track so all of that is a different perspective than driving on a single monitor but the real question is is that perspective when it comes to driving on the track being able to see turns a little bit better being able to see you know where you're going your throttle on points or off points does it make you faster and that's what we're going to find out so we're going for our first flying lap here hard on the brakes a little bit too hard on the brakes missed my braking zone a little bit but we managed to come out of that somewhat okay. Come in here, clip that apex. Go this way, and as you can see, I'm already looking out the side window, kind of looking where I want to go, kind of looking past where I'm actually at, because I found when I'm racing, if I'm looking ahead rather than exactly where I'm at, my reactions are going to be faster. And, you know, that's just because you can see what's coming up in front of you rather than reacting to what it is now. And I that's something, you know, when I used to do autocross and all that stuff like that, looking at a couple cones ahead of you makes a huge difference because you got to look where you want to go, not where you're currently at in order to be faster. So 
this will kind of be a big test of is this faster in this car it feels more fun being in the rift and being able to just look around in a racing aspect with other cars on the track it's definitely a big help because you can look around use your actual mirrors and it reacts like you would be in the actual cockpit and the graphic quality is not that bad at all I'm not noticing any tearing, any issues, so one lap down the tubes. We're gonna break a little bit sooner than last time. Come in there, look kind of out past the turn, looking where I want to go. So as you can see, the Rift does have an advantage. I did miss shift there. It does have an advantage with where you can look ahead. So that's the biggest takeaway I'm getting so far and why I would think you could actually be faster in oculus than you can three screens or single screens now whether that is true or not or somebody gets really used to oh, a single screen or three screens then they could probably just be as fast but for me personally being able to see the corners being able to see where i want to be is a huge game changer for me when it comes to racing and being able to control the car because right there we got a little squirrely picking up the back tires probably when we're braking in this up bars. I am not sure if this lap's going to be faster because I'm a uh, think I'm pushing the car past its limits. We will definitely find out once we finish this lap off. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which are found in the description box below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. A little bit of take, a little bit different looking at comparing screen driving to vr driving let's find out exactly what our time's going to be as soon as we cross the line and across the line what does the tail of the tape say a 137.55 so two and a half seconds faster in vr whether that was because i got more comfortable with the track or because i could see where i was going but I'm two and a half seconds faster, so it does beg the question, are you faster in VR? I proved that I'm definitely a little bit faster in VR. My doggo over here says, I think you were too. So that'll do it here for today's episode. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, and this is Kai. <laughs> we'll see you guys on the track.